Hello everyone. This is my third video on sport diagnosis. Today I will show you another rare case. So these are the images of the both the siblings who came to our OPD with the complaint of defect in the both hands and feet. So in these images you can see both the siblings are having the deep median cleft of the hands and similarly of the both the foot also. This is the deep median cleft which is present in both the siblings hands and feet and also having the aplasia or hypoplasia of the phalanges metacarpal and the metatarsal. So on the basis of these characteristic clinical finding what will be our clinical diagnosis? So the diagnosis will be uh, split hand and foot syndrome. And the name of this sign is ectrodactyly. So both the siblings are having the ectrodactyly and the name of this syndrome is split hand and foot syndrome. Lobster hand. In brief about this syndrome, it is mainly autosomal dominant. Rarely it can be recessive or X-linked. Incidents are 1 in 90,000. It is due to the failure of median apical ectodermal rejectivity. According to the express, there are two major types, non-syndromic and the syndromic. In non-syndromic, child will have the isolated involvements of hands and foot, not having any other congenital malformation of any organ or any other body part having the normal development and normal IQ. So our both the patient were having the known syndromic split hand and foot malformation because both of them were having the normal IQ and development not having malformation of any other body part. Another is the syndromic in which child will have the other associated anomalies of the other organ and body part example ectrodactyly cleft pellet syndrome, ectrodactyly ectodermal dysplasia clefting syndrome. Similarly, there are various other syndrome in which we will label as a syndromic split hand and foot malformation. So this is all about the lobster hand. Thank you so much.